shithole sites be taken down. All right, all right. I got to go. Thank you. You can't admit defeat. I don't have to admit shit. (laughs) Hey, Patrick, you're not fucking Kendra, are you? No, sir. No, I'm not, Howard. I'm a friend. Okay. He's got a lot of friends, this broad. Mm. Because no, she won't fuck Eric anybody. Has a lot of friends. We're Eric Nation. We're ruling the world, Howard. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, guys, I'll speak to you again. Thank you. All uh, right. Eric not admitting defeat. That's not gentlemanly. He's not a good sportsman. No. No, no he's a sore loser. Well, gee, G- Gary backing out of that bet. That's a good sportsman. No, he didn't bet out. He, he said to her, "Let's." Uh, what is the over-under? He didn't say he wanted to bet. And then she said, no, I'll see him before March 15th. We said, okay, so let's see it. It's no bet. She can control the bet. If she wants two grand, she can just yeah, fly out to you and say hello. Out. I mean, that's a ridiculous bet. All right. You you won't admit defeat, and that's not that's not very manly. I got to say. You know, we win. Can't have challenges with you anymore when you're always going to say you won anyway. <laughs> All right, Eric. Good Eric, luck. You're coming off like a bit of a shithead here. <laughs> <laughs> it's Eric the shithead. All right. Eric. Eric, th- Eric is now the king of all me. Hello? Oh, they're gone. All right. Okay. Hey, guys, I got to really go. Seriously, I'll speak to you later. Bye bye. It was a pleasure, Howard. <laughs> a pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Is that Johnny? No, that is Patrick. Patrick. You Goodbye, guys Patrick. should tour as uh, as Patrick and Eric, the two guys who aren't fucking Kenya, Kendra. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. All right. There they are, the guys, Patrick and Eric, who will not admit defeat. So, what do you make of this whole thing? I make that uh, she's getting a lot of attention mm. because of this thing with Eric, and uh, I do not believe Eric will have will get any sex from her. But it it makes Eric feel good. He has a nice little thing. That's right, and I don't want to be the guy to piss on. It's a good long distance thing, but that, the moment they see each other. Well, you know what? As Johnny pointed out, anything could happen. Anything can happen. So, Gary, after hearing all of this, do you think there's any chance that that Kendra really has genuine interest in Eric? Absolutely not. I mean, look at the two of them. Let's be. Let's be real. I mean, there's nobody in the world that that's nice. There's nobody in the world that, that that is that nice that can see past Eric's physical problems. And I know that sounds shallow, but it's true. And if there is a person, she doesn't look like that person. But from his angle, he believes this is a genuine opportunity. Oh, my God. He totally believes it. That's what makes the whole thing so fucking sad. I think that he really believes, you know, if she just, she's one of those chicks, she nuzzles up to him and giggles a lot. And that's enough for him for now. So he thinks they're in love. So, and then on top of that, he, he claimed that you would have no chance of getting her to call into the show, and he sort of blew off the fact that you did. Well, first of all, he should never have challenged me. He did challenge me, and uh, of course she called in. I mean, I got her on the air. She didn't make the phone call. I mean, that's a fucking ridiculous, you know, stupid, you know, tiny little thing. She was on our show discussing him. Right, and he's, he's so delusional that these little things equate a victory for him. Yes, yeah, so yeah. clearly his brain matches his height. Let me get Jimmy on the phone. Jimmy, hi. Hey, now. Hey, now. Jimmy Kimmel's the host of Late Night with uh, Jimmy Kimmel. What do you call it? Live with Jimmy Kimmel, right? Jimmy Kimmel Live. So anyway, over vacation, Jimmy gets a hold of me uh, via email. We email each other a lot. And he says, I, I, somehow Eric the Midget got in touch with you, right? Yeah, he, his, his, <laughs> people, his uh, people called the show and told us he was available to be a guest. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> They called on on Thursday for him to be a guest on the show on Friday. Here, let me get Eric on. Well, they give okay. you a lot of notice. That's great. <laughs> Eric, you there? Good morning. Good morning, Jimmy. Good morning, Eric. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, Jimmy Jimmy uh, writes me an email. He goes, "Look, Eric is requesting to come on the show. He says I'm not going to have him as a guest, but I'm you know I'll have him there yeah. if you tell me that's something you want." I don't know how Eric thought he'd go. He'd be a guest. Eric, how did you believe you'd be a guest on Jimmy's show? I wasn't looking to be a guest. That was never what I was looking to be. I was looking to be at the show and to meet him either before or after the show. I think some of that hair dye seeped into your brain. (laughs) I don't think this request came from Eric necessarily as Uh, much as it came from his people. Your publicist? Who are your people, Eric? Friends uh, that I know from Johnny, a guy named Jake. Your friends are out of control. Right. Well, anyway. Rizzo? So anyway, Jimmy gets this request, and Jimmy, I didn't know he was going to do this. He puts Eric in the audience, and on the show, he actually says hi to Eric the Midget. He refers to him. 
I you, couldn't resist yeah. because I come I, out there and I, there's I, Eric and it's all I can think about, you know. I had the whole show to do. And all I can think about is Eric's head looking at me. And does anybody else know why Jimmy's introducing Eric? No, because listen listen to Jimmy's email. <laughs> Jimmy, you care if I read your email? Go no, go ahead. All right, he goes I'll skip to I'll skip to this part, then I'll read the whole thing. But he goes, um <laughs> He basically says in the email that after he puts Eric on and shows him, it took the audience like eight minutes to recover. To recover, like yeah. to get him back. Yeah, like they're all shell shocked. The audience just went dead. <laughs> Holy that God. is yeah. so funny. Blotchy midgets kill a crowd. Wow. Wow. That is much smaller than I had anticipated. Yeah. Anyway, I so so I got to. I'm going to read Jimmy's email, Eric. He was really shocked to meet you afterwards. But delighted. But delighted. But delighted. All right. Eric is even smaller and more fucked up than I could have possibly guessed <laughs> from seeing his picture on the website. I said hello to him in the open of the show because I saw him there and couldn't resist. Big mistake. It took the audience almost eight minutes to recover from the shock of seeing him on screen. Did you realize the audience went into shock, Eric? Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. You didn't notice how the audience just quieted they down? They were really starstruck. After the show, I met him in the green room. He got quite, he's got quite a cast of characters surrounding him. Shaking his hand is like squeezing a rotten plum. Oh. <laughs> a rotten plum. A member of Eric's entourage showed me some very low-quality cell phone pictures of he and Kendra kissing. He was beaming with pride. How did you get those, Eric? Did you bring Kendra with you? No. She was there in Beverly Hills when I was there for... She was there for two days... And, you know, I was able to hang out with her. And How long her. did you spend with her? Wednesday and all of Thursday. Really? Overnight? She had to go back to Phoenix on Friday. Well, that's enough time to bang her. What happened? Yeah. Mm. I didn't do that. I was a gentleman. Oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> well, anyway, Jimmy, describe what happened. You... So Jimmy's backstage or something with Eric, and Eric's showing pictures of himself, like, making out with Kendra. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, there, there's oh, yes. right, right now on the webcam, there are better pictures that are showing. Oh, there's actually little pictures over in the corner of him and Kendra. Oh, I, I don't want to be too unkind here, Eric, but even Jimmy says in, after... He, Jimmy doesn't believe that Kendra... Like, okay, there's some pictures of Kendra almost kissing you, but she's not quite kissing... Well, she, there what she is the kissing hell? you. Look at that. That's not an almost kiss, you stupid big nose jackass. Fuck her. Fuck her, then call yeah. us. Did you, put, wait, did you put your little tongue in her mouth? Yes. No, you did You did, really? So. You swear to God? Yes. Did she put her little tongue in your big mouth? <laughs> what, Eric? Oh. Oh, oh. oh. Look at that <laughs> asshole A's hat you're wearing. There's, there's... What the? That one I did not expect for them to put on the screen. <laughs> wow. That's there's, the coolest one. There's Eric with her in her panties. Oh, shit. I do not believe they just put that one on the screen. Why? Uh, Dude, it makes you look cool as hell. It's got to kill his endorsements. Why, Eric? Why didn't you want that on the screen? Well, because of the fact that my uh, brother's a firefighter, and he, uh, he he's a fireman at his station with him to the show. Yeah. Well, why so? did you? Why? Who was taking pictures of you anyway? That is the her friend who is her photographer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eric, let me understand what happened here, because Jim, Jimmy in his email says he doesn't believe that Kendra's ever going to have sex with you. He she, even says it, and he's a talk show host. She happens I, to have a friend. That, I didn't say that. I, what I said is I don't know that it's possible to have sex with her. <laughs> you said he's... From a, you from said, a physics standpoint. You said you... In your, that one. Jimmy, you said in your opinion that Eric is not even a midget, he's a sub-midget. What does that mean? <laughs> midgets are bigger than Eric. smaller than midgets. I've seen midgets. <laughs> he's not even in the midget family. You said he's, he's the, the hamster family. You said he's the size of Wilson the volleyball from the Tom Hanks movie. <laughs> oh, my God. With feet, with feet. Yeah, Isn't with it feet. weird that, that uh, she has a friend who happens to be a photographer? <laughs> I know. That here's, bothers me. Here's how Eric and Kendra celebrated their love. After doing a photo shoot on a bed with Kendra in her panties and pasties. Man. They all Is that right, Eric, right? Yeah. She's a piece of ass. Look at her ass. Oh. Her thighs and her ass. I just, the, the smile on his face is oh. just hysterical. Wait, this is me. the best part of Jimmy's uh, email. He says they they all went to a strip club. Is that true, Eric? You went to a strip club? 
Yeah. Another dancer got excited when she saw Eric and gave him a lap dance. Supposedly, she went the extra mile. Wow. Which Jimmy means? says Jimmy's not sure what that means. J- Jimmy. Yes. Did you get any explanation about what that means? No. Uh, maybe Eric can clear it up for us. Yeah. Um, she was getting into the lap dance a little too much. What does that mean? What did she do? Putting her boobs in my face. Yeah. Uh, you didn't like that? Well, I mean, I'm there with Kendra. What kind of fruit are you? Were you afraid that Kendra? He's a cantaloupe. <laughs> <laughs> what else did she do? She put her boobs in her face, in your face. What else? She also like, made sure that they rubbed against my hands. Yeah. Times. Oh. It's called a lap fucking dance. Well, according to Jimmy in his email, he says, so Eric goes to the strip club with Kendra and this other chick's coming on to him. Now his friends are telling him that before he gets serious with Kendra, he may want to play the field a little. <laughs> and, and he says, and here's the best part. I think he agrees. Oh, stop. <laughs> Is it true, Eric, you're thinking about playing the field? Yeah. What? What's going on? I thought on? you were in love with Kendra. What yeah. field? <laughs> He's a slut. What does it mean the girl went the extra mile? Does that mean not vomiting? <laughs> like no. she liked him. I've never had a chick give me a lap dance and not vomit. <laughs> so, yeah. Eric, you're thinking that you're like some you. kind of a stud. J- Jimmy goes, he's ve- Eric is very full of himself right now. And and uh, he says, let me, tell, let me know what time in the middle of the night I should awaken to call in on Monday because he was so excited to meet Eric. Eric, what do you, let, let's get into this while I have Jimmy on the phone because he was, he was um, baffled. Kendra comes to, I mean, you go to see Kendra, and then right. she, to prove that she's really your girlfriend, she takes these pictures with you, kissing and stuff. Were there any moments without the photographer where you made out and stuff? Yeah, we made out a lot, quite a few times where there wasn't a picture being taken. Okay. Really? Were there other people in the room? No, there were a few kisses that we were alone with each other. So how was it? I mean, was did you feel the connection you've been feeling through the Internet? Yeah. Okay. So why, after meeting her, kissing her... And feeling a connection. And feeling a connection, are you now going to play the field? Uh, not real sure. I think that it might be a good idea for a little bit. What field are you just talking about? Did Kendra <laughs> indicate to you... Did, Ent- did Kendra indicate to you... That that really maybe she wasn't feeling it or something, or that we should play the field because we can't see each other that much. Something went down here because you were totally head over heels in love. Now you meet her. Yeah, and you now, didn't even want to meet anybody else. I don't think you're being honest with me here. No, I am. You're, why all of a sudden do you want to play the field? You, she came. She made out with you. Did you feel her titties? Well, I mean, not really. I mean, there, you know, you saw the pictures where, right. you know, we were on the bed. I mean, I kind of got a little bit when that happened, but... Why did she get naked in the bed? I mean, was it just for the f- photographs, or did she spend some time alone with you naked? No, I, I watched her do a photo shoot. I see. Oh. So is Kendra free to play the field, too? Is that what's going on? Did she say she wants to play the field, that like both of you will play the field? She has not said that she would, but... You told her you were thinking of it? Yeah, I told her earlier. Was it the experience <laughs> at the strip club that made you feel this way? In other words, when this girl started to get aggressive with you in the strip club, uh, I, I imagine grabbing your penis and stuff. Did she grab your penis? Well, she rubbed her head down there and Ooh. also you know her knee and stuff right and you got excited yeah you yeah. realized you could get hot for somebody besides Kendra huh right well that's normal yeah <laughs> this is what's great about guys I was gonna say <laughs> and you're asking Eric why and I'm thinking to myself he's a guy you know my mother always said it's a man's world and it really just proves it <laughs> look honey I don't want to be tied down <laughs> My career is really taking off. I got the I got an expensive A's hat I'm wearing. But I I, I don't understand, Jimmy. Do you have any insight after meeting Eric? I don't understand what he's saying. 
Well, I just think that, you know, Eric is starting to discover his celebrity. It's the early days of it, and that um, he's getting a lot more attention once he comes out of his room and gets out into the public. He sees that. He's, you know, he's got some things going on. He's enjoying his celebrity more than you ever have, Jimmy. Is Jimmy accurate? Yeah, I know. Jimmy's been with Sarah a long time. Uh, is Jimmy accurate here? Yeah. He is. Hey, does it? Hey, does that mean I'm allowed to fuck Kendra? Because I think I got a shot. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh. Something must have happened Good. over the weekend to Do give Do you it. think he found that she's not that hot for him? Is uh, yeah. that what you're saying? I'm gonna t- Here's my theory on this. Eric met Kendra. <laughs> there were a lot of photo opportunities. And yeah, she gave him kisses and stuff because she said she would. But when they were alone. It, there was nothing really... Intimate or loving. Yeah, it's what broads do, man. And I think that Eric got the hint that this chick is not the real deal. Plus, now, Kendra was with you at the strip club, right? Right. Did she get jealous when she saw the other girl and try to compete? Actually, yes, she did at one point get jealous. Really? Uh What did she say? She, because the uh, dancer... At one point, tried to kiss me, and she saw the dancer try to do that. And she, when we went back to where you know, Kendra was at, um, you know, she said to the dancer, "I can't believe you just tried to kiss him." Uh. <laughs> That's a great well, story. There you wow. go. Uh, although maybe Kendra had a pimple on her ass and it turned Eric off. <laughs> <laughs> she was. Uh, did she not look perfect? Did you want? Did, tell me about the sex, though. Tell, talk a little bit about that. Kendra pissed in my asshole. What? 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 Kendra what? pissed in your asshole. <laughs> Eric, you didn't tell me that. <laughs> Eric, she pissed in your asshole. Oh, gee. I didn't yeah. know you were into that. <laughs> yes. <I'm> not. <laughs> Why did you say that then? That wasn't me. Oh wait, Kendra's on the phone. And it says she's pissed at Eric, Jimmy. Uh-oh. Oh, no. I don't blame her. Wait a second. Hold on. Let me lock in everybody here. <laughs> Their first fight right I'm here on the air. lock this one in, and I'm going to get Kendra right on the phone. No, we don't want to lose anybody. Hey, Kendra. Hi. Hi. Is this shot? Uh, uh, by the way, say hi to Jimmy Kimmel. Hi, Jimmy. Hi, Kendra. How are you? Uh, um. Not that good, huh? <laughs> Kendra, wow. what happened? I'm hearing that you went the extra mile for Eric. You made out with him, as you, you said. You met him. I never thought you'd do that. And you did it. And now he's saying he doesn't want to be with you. Yeah. <laughs> Eric, is that what you just said? Yeah. Oh! To an extent, yeah. What happened, Eric? Why? Did you tell Kendra this when she was there? No, he did not. And then, oh. Uh, wow. But, Eric, what happened? Well, Eric. Well, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure what happened. I mean, you know, I had a really good time and all and everything. Was it because of the strip club? Did that open your eyes to a whole new world, and now you just have to play the field? Yeah, that's. Definitely part of it. Wow. I'm getting the sense you. So two... I'm thinking that this was a fun thing to do, and wow, that just. Was it your idea to go to the strip club, Kendra? Um, yeah, because he'd never been, and. I'm getting the sense that you two. Fun, I, I don't, don't mean to burst the bubble here, but I see Eric on camera laughing. Yeah. I, I'm getting the sense that you two or prearrange this to get out of this thing, Kendra. Yeah, I was yeah. thinking that too. Yeah. Is that what your things go? Why would Eric be laughing? You know, There's Eric thinks he's Eric thinks he's pulling one over. There's some porn oh. caliber acting going on right now. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, if, okay, so okay. so everybody out here is freaking out. And, Why? Uh, so Steve Langford and the news team have spent the entire week big investigative piece, and they want to come in and break the story that this is all bullshit. All right, and you can tell right. it is. Eric. Proof. Have, what's have, what's behind this? Proof. But, but guy, but Eric, why? This is demeaning to you. Why are you in on this this goof? I don't understand it. Not Eric. a goof. It's oh, it not. is. It is. You're, you're, you're no. not fooling anyone. Sir, yeah. Don't call us a goof. When, it, it, it is, when is Eric the Midget going around dumping women? <laughs> really? All right, Steve Langford, what do you know about this? Howard, last week we did a series of stories yeah. about yeah, a guy named... Sighted, jackass. Well, listen, if you were so upfront about everything, why did you not allow us to come and cover the thing because like we wanted to? Blew it. Uh, yeah, you were covered. You, 
you were going to be invited. Listen, Johnny Frado wanted us to come out and cover this. But you and everybody else clammed up. Why is that? If you would let me explain, you piece of shit. We're listening. You were going to be invited. You made a fucking stupid-ass mistake of... What, of reporting the news? Yeah. Hey. Go ahead. Don't talk over me, you piece of shit. Go the fuck back to Canada. <laughs> what did he do, Eric? What wow. did he do? Hey. He interviewed a wacko wow. piece of shit stalker. You mean the wacko who Tony? happens to have voicemail messages and emails and text messages of hey, this prank idiot. being talking over me. concocted? Is that the guy you're talking about? Stop fucking talking over me. Let We're listening. Me finish. I feel I'm being the victim of a big goof. Yeah, I don't know Kendra, what's going on. Kendra, come clean on. with me. You seem like a nice girl. What's going on here? Tell me the real deal. Tell, come on, come clean. Come clean with what? Uh, you two you two were never really involved romantically. Yes, and now, and Eric yes. now wanting to play the field is all prearranged. Eric was smiling through it. Uh, I see but what's going on. But why would he be smiling? He's ne the, one, the bottom line here, he's oh. not getting a girl again. Yeah, no, and he, I, yeah that's I, the bottom line. Yeah. He doesn't have Kendra. And I, as I predicted... <laughs> oh, will you let me finish saying what I'm trying to say? If, I, I swear to Jesus you're telling the truth. I am telling the say, truth. Say, I swear on the life of Jesus Christ. I swear on the... Well, wait a minute, he's already dead. <laughs> I swear on the life of your he, mother. He was resurrected. Swear on the life of your mother you're telling the truth. Oh my God, you want me to... You, yeah, I'm telling the truth. You're te Honestly, swear yeah. on the life of your mother you're telling the truth about that Kendra and you don't have this prearranged. I swear on the life of my mother, this is not anything prearranged. Wow. Wow. All right. Oh. You might well, not like his mother. <laughs> if you would let me finish, the lack of stalker that I'm referring to is a woman that was stuck in Jim Florentine and also... Robin? Uh, Julie. <laughs> and Shirley? Oh, my God. Well, she must be desperate. <laughs> Shirley. And now you guys want to take the, her word on what she was saying. All right, let me understand what's going on here. You're telling me 100% you and Kendra were together, because now you swore in your mother's life, so I'm believing you. Wow. You were together. After meeting her, you now want to play the field. Yes. Wow. And you don't care how that makes her feel. Kendra, I, are you shocked? Yep. Is there something you, you didn't know this when you left? You thought everything was great. Yep. Something went on that we don't know. Jimmy, what, what can you say about this? You're a follower of Eric's. Well, I don't understand why Eric would be laughing when he tells her. Right. When he, when he announces right. to her, it seems like something that if you know if he likes her so much, it would upset her. Eric, yeah. why why would you laugh when you you talked about it? Because I made the mistake of looking at her. That's why every time I look at her, I smile. That's why I did that. I should not have done that. But if you like her so much that every time you look at her, you smile, why do you not want to see her anymore? I would just like to play the field for a little bit. Who are you playing the field with? You don't have it. There's no field. She's the only one calling you. She's the only one doing anything with you. Rob, but do you understand the stripper? So, uh, did she did she smell bad or something? I mean, is there something you're not oh, saying about her hygiene no, no, no. or about what are you saying? She did not smell bad, that's for sure. So then, what the hell could it be? Her personality? No. Was there no chemistry once you met her? She need labiaplasty. I mean, what was the problem? Hey, can I throw a, a theory out there? Okay. Sure. All right. Maybe let's just take Kendra at her word, and maybe she really isn't Eric. I was examining Eric's body. Um, I don't know that I, I don't know what, you know, when he, he fucks his pillow to masturbate? Yeah. yeah. I think that's because his hands, his mushy little hands don't get around <laughs> to the front. And maybe Eric is not capable of having sex with Kendra. Oh, oh. and so he's trying to end this before it gets to that point? Yes, yeah, like a World War II veteran um, who, who was wounded in battle. Wow. <laughs> Eric, come clean. Are you capable of having sex with Kendra? Yeah, I'm capable of having sex with any female. But you haven't yet, and one who you might be on your way to having sex with, you're throwing off. Kendra, describe how far you went sexually with Eric. She passed out. 
Kendra, are you there? <laughs> yeah, I'm here. How far did you go with him, honestly? Well, I don't... Obviously, I didn't, you know, have sex with him because I'm not... It's the first time I got to see him. Was there any hand action on genitals? No, and even if there was, why I wouldn't fucking tell everybody. So you made out with him? Yeah, I did. Did he touch you in any place special? No. He didn't touch your titties? Well, I put him in his face, joking did, around. Did yeah. he touch you in your naughty place? <laughs> no. Nope. I mean, can you imagine this? You sp How old are you, Eric? 32. 32 years as a virginal chicken McNugget, essentially, wearing glasses. <laughs> you finally get a girl who's you know, good-looking and, and roll at the yeah. least rolls around in the bed with you, and you want to play the field? Yeah, there's something that doesn't compute here. Yeah. Something doesn't compute with the way that Jimmy's acting this morning. What do you mean? Oh, you're mad at Why Jimmy. Why the hell weren't you acting like this on fr Friday night? How did you were he a hell of a lot more pleasant to be around. Oh. Now you're acting like the piece of shit of the show hey. that you're calling into. Listen, <laughs> all I'm doing is, is anything I've said untrue? I don't know. <laughs> Listen, you know Jimmy's a big phony. There He's stepping go. it up for the Stern Show. Absolutely. <laughs> Everybody me who meets you in person is phony. I was I was looking forward to meeting Eric, but I have to say I was shocked when I, and I in fact, tried to, isn't this true, Eric? I said, well, maybe you shouldn't be so quick to play the field. Maybe, you know, you want to, you judge her based on the person, not on the fact that you want to date a bunch of girls. Didn't I say that to you? True. And... I don't know. But I guess it didn't sink in. Hmm. I don't get this at all. I don't either. I don't understand what happened here. Hey, Kendra, now that uh, 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 Eric's clearly done with you, uh, I don't mind saying I'm smitten with you. Do you mind if yeah. I... Uh... Artie wants to go out with you, Kendra. And he's a good man. Yeah. And he'll be in Arizona soon, won't you? Yes. Do you mind if I squire you around? Thanks. I have to talk to Eric after this. <laughs> well, Eric is is giving you the blow off. Yeah, I he's mean, publicly... I need to talk to him like not. Go ahead, talk to him. Talk no, to him now. Right he's, now, he's oh, publicly Kendra. humiliated. <laughs> Kendra, you. now's the time. Really? I'm doing Jimmy's show yeah. in uh, in a few weeks. I could bring you to right. Jimmy's show. Oh yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. But Kendra, he just dissed you on radio, national radio. Thanks for reminding me, Eric. I don't like the sound of this. You're my pal. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. I don't like it. I, I don't want to see you get Why used. Why would he go along with this? And if he and Kendra, if you were really hurt by Eric, I mean, and then I, I'm sad for you. I, I can't figure out what's going on here. I have to say I'm perplexed. I am really confused by all of this. Can you get that lie detector guy in? Yes. I want you both to fly to New York and take lie detectors if you're willing to. I don't to. think they can hook Eric up. Oh, they can hook him up. Oh, shut up, you fat, obnoxious, stupid woman. Wow, that, that was uncalled for. Eric, I want to get to the bottom of this. Did you ever call Kendra a nigga? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm mean, just being truthful. Kendra. Kendra, but, do you but, swear on the life of your mother mm. that this was not fixed in any way? I swear on the life of my mom. This wasn't fixed. All right. And so, Oops. Eric, you're done with Kendra. Because they're not asking for me. Eric? I would like, I would like to play the field for a while. Eric, what? How long's a while? Until just before you have sex with Artie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, come Eric, on, Kendra. What this is crazy. What when you met Kendra? Something changed, obviously. What did you learn about Kendra that turned you off? Why don't you be honest? At least give the girl an explanation. You owe that to her. I don't, I can't figure out what went wrong. I just... But something went wrong. Of course. Mm. Eric, what happened? Be honest with Kendra. That's the fair thing to do. She's been good to you. That's the problem with most guys. They never tell the girl what happened. They just disappear. Kendra, I hope you're listening. Yep. So, Eric, go ahead. Yeah, he's got the floor. Maybe if Steve Langford would stop talking over him, he could say something. Yeah, say something, Eric. And I'm, I'm, I've got Steve Langford with a gag on his mouth. Right. Uh, I wish I knew where it went wrong, but I can't figure it out. Jimmy Kimmel, are you shocked by all this? I, re I don't know what to make of it. I really don't. <laughs>
I love it, Jimmy. It's 4 a.m. He has he's his own totally show to produce. Into this. He's up right now. I could care less about my show. <laughs> Johnny Frado is on the phone. He says he understands what's happening. All right, tell us. All right, Johnny. What exactly what happened, Howard? Go ahead. The fucking, the fucking dancer, the, the other dancer. That's what happened. The other fucking dancer, I think, did something to him. Put something in his head. What did she say? I don't know. Well, Eric, know is that what happened at the strip? That's when that fucker changed. What? That's when he changed. Eric, is that true? Yeah. So <laughs> she wasn't, the dancer was more, was friendlier than Kendra. Is that what's going on here? I don't think the dancer. I don't think the dancer was friendlier than Kendra, but I think that the dancer said something to him. What did she say to you? Yeah, what did she whisper to you? I don't remember. It was kind of a kind of a yeah. Was it dirty? Yeah. Well, there you go. See, I'm telling you, the dancer turned him on, and Kendra was being a, you know, a chick. She was oh, getting okay, to know Eric. I, I witnessed a couple of things I thought was amazing. You know, we went to go eat pizza, and 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 the and the Eric's Pepsi came, and you know, Kendra grabbed the the can and opened it and poured it for him and helped him drink it, and you know, she opened up a cookie at my house and for herself, and, and then she saw that he was struggling with the rapper of another one, and, and she changed uh, the newspaper in his cage. He's <laughs> <laughs> good with that. Jimmy, give the guy a break. I, I just, Eric, did you have a good time? Yes, I definitely had a good time. All right, look. How good, I, how good I, of a time I, did you have? I don't. I got to you know tell you something. You know what I'm thinking? The see, Kendra was treating him like a baby, and no. that chick in the club treated him like a guy. I don't a know, man. Robin. I do not know how to explain this. I don't know. I, this is the Eric saga. Now I really am confused. I am demanding a lie detector. <laughs> Eric does not want somebody helping him with his cookie wrapper. I want to thank Jimmy Kimmel first of all for getting up in the middle of the night and also in having Eric down to his show. I thought that was very nice. Well, I like to think of myself as an honorary member, if only for just one day, of the Howard News team. <laughs> right. So, Jimmy, thank you for that. I want to say to Eric and Kendra, I don't get it, Kendra. If this is for real, uh, Eric, you're not giving the girl an explanation. I don't know what the hell's going on. But if they just cook this up to, I don't even know what anybody's getting out of it. It means Eric's still not getting laid. Hey, uh, also, Kendra, to prove this, prove this to us by making out with me, Kendra. I will squire you around Arizona and the greater Los Angeles area. Yeah, maybe you want to start playing the field. Mm. Eric, uh, <laughs> once and for all, just tell everyone on the phone, including Jimmy and Johnny and Kendra, what you want to be called. Eric, the piece of shit. Mm. All right. Well, you obviously. You, uh, apropos today. You obviously feel negative about yourself. <laughs> J uh, uh, Eric, do you feel bad at all breaking up with Kendra like this? Yeah. I thought I thought you guys were going to have an open relationship. You're a dog. An man. open relationship. Uh, I don't understand. All right. Well, look. You're like Randy Jackson. You're a dog. All right. Eric, uh, congratulations on having such an active social life. Uh, Jimmy, congratulations on your show. Thanks. Johnny Frado, congratulations <laughs> on your JFSC. And Kendra, what is your website again so people can look at you? Kendrasecret.com. Kendrasecret.com. All right. She reluctantly did that. Don't forget me. about sweetapples.com. And Kendra, make sure. What? Not to let this destroy your faith in men. Yeah. I mean, Eric... Well, I certainly wouldn't put up with Eric playing the field on me. Right. Or midgets. Yeah. <laughs> Thank I mean... you. All right. Thanks, guys. And how about everybody taking their dot coms yeah. and collectively, collectively shoving them up their ass? <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks, Jimmy. Yeah, you got a big enough ass to shove them up. Don't you? <laughs> Fuck you and the A's. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> All right.